Welcome to another video from GIC Learning Hub. We hope this will help you to understand our products in a better way. Presenting the complete range of GIC Earth Leakage Relays, these ELRs are packed with excellent features making them most effective to ensure protection against risk of leakage currents. This is how the product looks. These are the various prominent features. There are two variants in this device, one without Modbus, and another with Modbus. Let us see programming for device with Modbus. Power on the Earth Leakage Relay from default factory settings after all necessary connections for CBCT, power supply, alarm and trip relay are connected, product can be remote reset by using external switch between terminal Y1 and Y2. Complete range of CBCT, sizes available from 38mm to 350mm. Let us see the front panel details. 4 digit 7 segment display. A potentiometer for earth leakage current setting. A potentiometer for trip time setting. 4 keys for programming the device. Test escape key, and reset enter key. Up and down key. Power on, alarm and fault LED indication. 8 dip switches for mode setting. Product suitable for type A and AC currents. Let us see the programming for dip switches, dip switch 1 and 2 to configure fault and alarm relay as fail safe or non fail safe. Push upwards for fail safe. Fail safe means, on fault occurrence, relay contact shifts from NO to NC, that is to energize to trip. Push downwards for non fail safe. Non fail safe means, on fault occurrence, relay contact shifts from NC to NO, that is energized to trip. Dip switch 3 to configure alarm relay. Push upwards for alarm relay to be on at 60% of set leakage current. Dip switch 4 to configure auto reset. Push upwards for auto reset to be on. Auto reset time will be 15 minutes and number of attempts will be 4. Dip switch 5 to configure I delta and leakage current multiplied by 10. Current range 500 mA to 3 A. Dip switch 6 to configure I delta and leakage current multiplied by 100. Current range 5 A to 30 A. Factory default is 30 mA to 300 mA. Dip switch 7 to configure hold feature. Trip current is locked and displayed till reset. Dip switch 8 to configure scroll feature. Device will show set I delta and leakage current, set trip time and instantaneous current on display in scrolling manner. Hold test escape key for 1 second to test and check functionality of the device. Press and hold reset key to recover. Hold test escape key and reset enter key for 2 seconds to check set I delta and current and set trip time. Menu function is provided in Modbus device. To enter in Modbus menu, hold up and down key for 1 second. COMS stands for communication setting. DVID stands for device ID, that is slave ID, which can be set from 1 to 247. In this example, we will set it to 5. Press Enter key to go into the menu. Press Enter key to start changing the value. Use Enter key to select desired digit. Use up and down keys to change the value. Press Enter key to confirm the value. Press Exit key to go back into the main menu. SDBT stands for Stop Bit. PRTY stands for Parity. BDRT stands for VOD rate. ARST stands for auto reset setting. RSTT stands for auto reset time. ATPT stands for auto reset attempt. ILOG stands for log menu setting. VIEL stands for view previous log for trip currents. CLRL stands for clear log. This completes the programming. Thank you for watching this video, if you have any questions make sure to contact us, or drop an inquiry on our website. GIC India, we stay committed, to being excellent.